Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you receive funds from customers through the Receive Payments window and place the funds into the Undeposited Funds Asset Account, QuickBooks tracks that money until it is actually deposited into the bank. Later on, when you're ready to take your payments to the bank, you can record the deposit within QuickBooks and group the various payments that you have received and placed into the Undeposited Funds account into a single amount that is shown as being deposited into your selected bank account. This makes the amounts recorded as deposits for that bank account match the amounts recorded by your bank statements, which makes account reconciliation much easier. Also, when you are preparing the funds for a deposit in QuickBooks, you can choose to print a deposit slip to bring with you to the bank if needed, and then make the deposit at the bank. Note that when you record the deposit within QuickBooks, it takes the deposited funds and adds it to the selected bank account register. You can also tell it to leave out a certain amount for cash back, if needed, that you can then record to an account like Petty Cash. To make a deposit in QuickBooks, select Banking from the menu bar, and then choose the Make Deposits command. This will most often then cause the Payments to Deposit window to appear on screen. In the Payments to Deposit window, you can see all of the customer payments that you have received through the Receive Payments window and elected to move to the Undeposited Funds account. Here you must then check any received amounts that you will actually be taking to the bank to deposit. Once you've made your selections, simply click the OK button to continue to the actual Make Deposits window. Now in this window, you will see the amounts that you just selected shown in a listing. You can use the Deposit To drop-down to select the name of the bank account into which you would like to deposit the selected funds. Enter the date of the actual deposit into the Date field. If necessary, you can click into the next available blank row within the deposit window to record any other miscellaneous amounts that will be deposited, such as owner's contributions. If you need to get cash back from the deposit, then use the Cash Goes Back To drop-down to select the account used to record cash back, such as Petty Cash. Then enter the reason why cash was being held back into the cash back memo. You can then enter the amount of cash to be held back from the deposit into the cash back amount field. Once you are ready to record the deposit amount, click the Save and Close button to save and close the Make Deposits window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.